It's the end of the information era. Little did the people of the time know that a new era would arise. This is the road to the Third World War. The world for a long time had been divided between the weak Russian power, China, and the West, or NATO. All of a sudden, signed on December 31st, 2018, the world made the drastic choice to disband all alliances including CSTO and NATO. Starting on January 1st, 2019, the world governments gathered in the UN a day before disbanding it and signed a deal stating that all countries must be a dictatorship ruled by a person who is immortal and will stay a dictator until they resign. All I was wondering is how did the world leaders let this happen? There's no way some type of rise in issues crap could come like this. May I also ask, uh, what, do you, what are you doing here? Yeah, you want a fist bump? The following month, as the changes went into effect, many people in the USA, Russia, China, and a few other countries including Germany would say that they had been kicked out of office and would make rude comments towards their leaders. Following the time, the world went into peace, however, it would not last long. The German leader had announced that they would reenact the Second World War, a statement no one was scared of or surprised of. Eventually, in Asia, the Taiwanese government and Mongolian government received a justification of conquest by China and were immediately invaded in a war. The US has said nothing about this. Meanwhile, Japan would go on to invade South Korea and seem to have plans for North Korea as well. However, Japan had made the major statement about how the invasion of Taiwan should have been done by Japan in a childish quote. Back in Europe, Germany had seemed to try and make his promise and invade Poland and Belarus. China had eventually made their country known as the Qing Dynasty, even though no leader was named Qing, and the dynasty was made 400 years ago. For now, everything seemed to be good after the invasions came to a halt. However, it would not take long when on July 15, 2022, the United States had declared war on Mexico and Canada. Both countries had fought until the last city, even when their army was fully defeated in the first push. However, with no leader, Canada and Mexico could not properly make an army, leading to the collapse of their country. Following this, the United States proclaimed the North American Union. The people who wanted the Confederate States to become independent again, and Texas to become independent again, who protested at the start of the war, had immediately dispersed when the North American Union was proclaimed, suddenly calming everyone down. I hated Joe for invading Mexico and Canada, but when he proclaimed the NAU, I was happy. It is the pride of patriotism, I tell you that much. By the way, aren't you EDP 445? Uh, no, no, that's not me at all. Oh my god, I'm saying that with a straight face. In Europe, suddenly, Germany had declared war in Russia, just as Russia had forged a reason of conquest against Ukraine, which would mark the beginning of the Third World War. Russia could not repel the German invaders as the Russians magically made millions of soldiers. However, Germany managed to outproduce tanks despite having a thin supply line. Well, wait, I'm sorry. Supply lines didn't exist. Soldiers did not eat during this it time. It is true. We did not eat during this time. We only eat for fun if we wanted to, but it is not required for us to survive. <laughs> Good old days. That's great, but can we get off the sidewalk, please? No, the street is my natural habitat. Germany had continued to push farther and farther into Russian territory until Moscow was captured. Following the capture of Moscow, every city in Russia magically started burning down, and the leader vanished without a trace after stating, Germany is a mean person. The war would drag on to ages until the burning stopped. Being a big country, the war would last longer. The Qing Dynasty had immediately got on board and attacked Russia. However, after the invasion of North Korea, Japan forged a reason of conquest against the Qing Dynasty, brawling a major war between the two. Germany and the Qing Dynasty soon formed an alliance, only because they had felt like it. The world seemed to be at peace when all of a sudden, the UK had finally gotten into expanding and invaded France, striking the Anglo-French War. The North American Union following this decided to also ally the UK, only because they had felt like it. The UK would invade the ports of Calais and Normandy. The French had sent their Paris defense units at the British soldiers and made many more. The French would eventually launch Operation Auto Capture, 
and units spewed in every direction. While the war in Russia dragged on, Germany had also invaded France, which would anger Britain. The French leader as well magically vanished as the invasion was repelled by the UK and France collapsed after the last cities were taken. La de la France the invasion, invasion of France was a crime. The fact that the North American Union supports the death of a neutral country is despicable. Liberty is gone. However, Germany had held a small amount of land in France after the war ended. The UK demanded Germany give them the land as they needed to form, which was denied by Germany. With backing from the North American Union, the North American Union and UK declared war on Germany. The Qing Dynasty soon declared war on the NAU and UK for attacking their German allies, despite being in a war with Japan. The world was now at war, besides Africa and South America. In Asia, the Japanese had major success in the Qing Dynasty and had taken Manchuria. Just as the war reached the UK and NAU, Japan would be pushed back by the Qing Horde. Because Seoul was a big city, it took too long to capture, besides there being no army there. The Japanese launched a counterattack against the Qing Dynasty and encircled the units attacking Seoul, which had no effect because remember, soldiers don't eat. When Seoul was taken, Japan was pushed back out of Korea. After yelling at Japan in letters to ally them, Japan finally allied the NAU and the UK. In Europe, Germany had made 10,000 tanks, which would all invade through Belgium, who was in the war, into British-occupied France, fully kicking them out of the last city. Normandy would fall, and the rest of the tanks would eventually commence Operation Auto Capture, but failed when invading the mainland to submarines. The North American Union, however, finally came as a saving grace with 19,000 tanks, which all sunk instantly to one German submarine. Back in Asia, the North American Navy was halfway through the Pacific, while minor landings in Japan were being made. In Europe, North America this time brought in 25,000 tanks, which were escorted by a frigate. As the landing was being commenced, an infantry brigade would suicide attack the tanks, which had fully reverted the landing process and made the process restart. Back to Asia, after another port raid on China, Japan had stated that their ships were frozen or stuck. China used this to their advantage to land in Japan, which came with little resistance, but were hard once again as cities with high population were hard to capture despite having no soldiers. Eventually, when Qing took Osaka and moved up to Tokyo, the North American Navy arrived and shore bombarded Qing, as if the earth wasn't spherical. America will go on to land 5 million soldiers and 3,000 tanks and win the Battle of Tokyo, pushing all the way to Osaka and out of Japan in the final battle of Nagasaki, where the Qing leader would make an American nuking joke. In Europe, as American tanks landed, they came across 15,000 tanks. These tanks would immediately die as the North Americans had researched five forms of tank firepower and five forms of tank defense in two nanoseconds after having points in, res in the research field. The great invasion of Germany had began to liber I mean, conquer Germany. As well as the UK had landed 4,000 tanks in Calais and would commence Operation Auto Capture. With no resistance, the Germans were pushed back to the heartland of Germany, where they met 5,000 tanks this time harder from the North Americans to defeat as Germany used points and research to find one form of tank defense, however lost and as Berlin was taken. All of Russia faced fire and all German occupied lands were burned as the German leader vanished, ending the war in Europe. Back in Asia, North America made landings in Korea with little to low resistance. It was a Pyongyang when another 8 million Qing soldiers were fight winning the battle. However, as Japan's stability dropped and no one protested, North America was sending another 8 million soldiers. The Qing leader Jake 2012842 would send a letter to the NAU leader in rush, and the two would come to a peace as they saw the war was pointless, despite 30 million dead officially marking the end of the Third World War.